Welcome to My Zone Online School. My name is Teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there is an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. to my zone online school my name is teacher Mutsa, and thank you so much for joining me today our theme this week is cleanliness and before we get into any lessons boys and girls we need to sanitize remember if you cannot sanitize you can always use soap and water just make sure that you Wash your hands for 30 seconds. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. For today's lesson, we will be talking about verbs, subtraction, and ending sounds. Now for our exercise, boys and girls, let's start on page 26. On page 26, we are going to be doing verbs. Now remember, a verb is a doing word, which means there is an action that must be done. The words that we can see also have actions. And today, we are all going to be actors. We are going to act out each and every verb we can see. So I'd like you to please stand up from where you are, Stand up and we're going to start together. So the first verb that we're going to act out is the verb run. So how do you run when you are running? Do you run like this? <laughs> or do you run like this? <laughs> so that is the verb. We are doing running. So if I say run, Good job, everyone. Don't get tired because we have a lot to do. Now, the next one we want to do is shower. Shower is something that we do when we're trying to keep our bodies nice and clean. So I'd like you to pretend you have your soap already and you have put it on your face cloth or anything that you use to bath with. Some use gloves, some use loofers. So you take your soap, you put it on the thing and then you start showering. The water's coming down. You start with your face. Make sure you rub behind your neck, on your shoulders, on your arms, your body, very good, down to your legs. And you stand in the shower and you allow the water to come on your body. That is shower. So we have done run and shower. I want you to try and do shower by yourselves. Are you ready? Let's go. Do, 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 do. Taking the soap and washing myself and showering, making sure I don't leave any part of my body and water and done with my shower. Well done. Now we have the next one, which is brush everyone i'd like you to please because this is brush for your teeth so we're going to pretend we have our toothbrush 
We're going to take our toothpaste and put a little bit on top. Very good. So we have our toothbrush and we're going to brush our teeth. Now remember, when you're brushing your teeth, they are small circular motions. So you're going to start with the front. Very good. Go to the sides. Well done. The other side. Good job. Inside. Ah. Down. Up. <laughs> and then we drink a little bit of water. Rinse, rinse, rinse. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And we spit into the sink. Good job. So now you're going to try and brush by yourselves. Are you ready? Let's go. Do, 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 do. Round small circular motions. Well done. Inside, up, down. Some water and rinse. And spit. Well done. Good job, everyone. We all have clean teeth now. <laughs> now we are going to do the verb cooking now cooking is very fun but remember boys and girls the stove can be very dangerous so don't touch the stove anytime unless you have an adult around you so please 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 we are only acting like we are cooking but we are not going to be cooking what should we cook today i think we should cook some eggs so I'm going to take my pan, here's my pan. I'm going to take two eggs, one, boop, and we break it, very good. And we put it aside. The second egg, let's take it and crack. And open, the yolk goes down with the whites and we put it on the side. And they're starting to sizzle. So we're going to take our pan and we're going to flip our eggs. Are you ready? Like professionals. One, two, three, flip. <laughs> oh, oh, my eggs fell on the floor. <laughs> Where did your eggs land? I hope back into the pan. But anyway, that is the cooking. I want you to pretend that you're cooking by yourselves. I'm going to make another batch of eggs. So I'm going to take my egg, crack, put the shell on the side, take another egg, crack put the shell on the side then mix 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 and flip <gasps> this time they landed in the pan yay so i'm done cooking but i'm going to add a little bit of salt well done now we are going to act like we are washing our hair so first we are going to need some shampoo so let's take our shampoo put a little bit in our hands rub 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 and then we take it and we put it on our hair now when you're washing your hair this is the action of your fingers they are going in and out in and out making sure that your hair gets enough soap everywhere so you're going to move it round and round up and down very good and then when it's nice and lathered out we're going to rinse our hair we we'll go back into the shower and rinse our hair. Well done, everyone. Now the next action is to sing and dance. Wow. So you need a microphone and I have my microphone here. So we're going to sing and dance. What song should we sing? Hmm. I wonder, maybe we can sing our our sanitizing song yes i think that one is good so we're going to start and we're going to sing and dance at the same time are you ready well done and one two three go sanitize every day so the germs can stay away sanitize every day so the germs can stay away yay well done everyone i'm so glad you're doing this with me so the last thing we're going to do is to pretend to climb a ladder so take your ladder put it there and when we're climbing a ladder we start with our hands on the ladder 
and we tweak our feet. So we're climbing the ladder, going up, going up, going up, and we have reached the top of our ladder. Good job, everyone. Now climb down. We're climbing down our ladder, going down, going down. Good job, everyone. So we were up our ladder. Very good. Climbing up, climbing up. And now we're going down our ladder. Going down, going down, going down. Well done, everyone. So these are our verbs. And remember, a verb is an action word. And I'd like you to please do this again, this time with someone from home. Take your time, have fun, and I will see you soon after the advert break. Follow us on My Zone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. Now for our next exercise, boys and girls, let's turn to page 27. On page 27, we are going to be subtracting decade numbers. Now we all know what decade numbers are. These are numbers that end with zero and we count in tens if we were to count the decade numbers. But instead of counting today, we are going to cut and paste the correct answers in the boxes. Now, as you can see, the answers are below. They are zero, 40, 50, 30, 20, 20, 50, 70, 60, and 30. When you are subtracting your decade numbers, boys and girls, I'd like to show you how you can make it easier for yourself. So let's take a look at the board. Now on the board, I have two sums that you have. The first two. This one says 60 minus 40. Now that's a big number to try and count, even with our counters, even with our fingers. But what we can do is to cover our decade number zero. Now if you cover the number zero, you will see that it becomes six minus four. That way you'll be able to make your six minus four. So if we say six minus four, we will be able to say I have six fingers and I take away four. One, two, three, four. Now I'm going to do that one again because teacher said six fingers. Oh, silly teacher Mutsa. So let's start. I have six fingers. Yes, now they are correct. <laughs> I have six fingers and I'm going to take away four. One, two, three, four. And I'm left with how many fingers? two. So I will put my two. But because these are decade numbers, every decade number has a zero. So I have to put back the zero I took away, which makes my answer 20. If you check in your booklet, you have a small card for 20. So you're going to cut it out and paste it for the first one. But remember, boys and girls, a pair of scissors can be very dangerous. So when you are done with your exercise, please make sure that you put the pair of scissors away. A pair of scissors is not a toy. Now let's move on to the next one. The next one says 30 minus 10. So what you are going to do is you're going to cover your zeros and now it becomes 3 minus 1. So we need only 3 fingers and we are going to take away 1. That means our answer is 20 again. So you are going to put your 2 and then because it is decade numbers, you need to put a 0. 
So now our answer is complete. But instead of you writing your answer like how I'm doing it, you are going to cut it out and paste it. Make sure that when you're pasting, you are very careful so that the glue does not end up on your fingers. Take your time with the decade numbers, have fun, and I will see you soon after the advert break. Do you have children in the age range of five to six years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 081 and we will put you on our distribution list for the attention of pre-primary schools. Topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn and more. We distribute countrywide in over seven different languages. Now for our last exercise, boys and girls, let's turn to page 29. On page 29, we are going to be doing ending sounds. Now the sounds that you're going to hear will change with the addition of another letter. So we are going to take off a letter and put another one to change the word. We are going to use the pictures to help us. The first one has already been done for you. The first word was put, p, u, t, put. So we need to change that put by using the picture. What can you see? The word we are looking for is p, a, p, pup. So we are going to say that's a puppy and it looks so cute. So we're going to do the one that we can see, rod and bay. So let's take a look at the board. Now I have the word rod and the picture you can see there is of someone who seems to be hiding and he wants to take something that doesn't belong to him. So we can call that by removing the D and putting a B, the word will change to match the picture to rob, 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 rob. So that is the word they were looking for when they showed you that picture. Now the next one, we can see that there is something that mostly women have to put all their things in and they use it, but the word we have is the word bay. So, bay needs to change by removing the y. And we're going to use the picture to change bay into bag. B -a -g, bag. So I want you to do the same. You're going to change the ending sound by taking a good look at the picture. Be careful when you're changing the sound because all the letters may not fit. So you need to try some letters and also be careful which picture you're actually looking at. When you are done, I'd like you to please read the words that you have made, the new ones, so that you know they are correct. Have fun. Take your time and I'll see you soon after the advert break. Follow us on My Zone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. Boys and girls, we have now come to the end of our lesson. I hope you had fun. I know I did. Remember, if you're not sure or you don't really know what to do, it's okay to ask for help. Just make sure you end up finishing your work by yourself. So now that we are done with our lesson grade twos, we need to sanitize. Remember, sanitizing is not the only way we can stay safe. We can also use soap and water and that way we'll be practicing cleanliness as well. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. I thought I heard Zoshi come in, but I can't see him. 
Sashi, are you hiding from me again? Sashi? Oh! <laughs> there you are, Sashi. Would you like to go outside and play? Oh, wonderful. So, from Sashi and I, we would like to say thank you for joining us today and goodbye! <laughs>